Today, I'm not only showing you how to make one of the best appetizers there is, the Caprese salad, but I'm also showing you how to make it so it's super easy to eat. Check it out. So it starts out with your tomato. Remember, we're making this so it's easy to plate up and easy to eat. So the first thing you're gonna do is slice off the bottom of your tomato, spin it around, slice off the top. Now, we're gonna slice it right in half just like that. Stand it up. Now we go in and make our little slices. Now it's time for your cheese. You can buy mozzarella in the little packs, but I like to buy it in these little containers like this, where you get the big mozzarella balls that are actually just sitting right there in the juice. So what I want you to notice is the shape of the tomato and the shape of the mozzarella. Cut it right down the middle. Let's count how many slices of tomato. 19, 19, 20, 21. That's my favorite number. 19, 20, 21. And I guess you get one little extra. Hmm. Start out with your tomato and your mozzarella. And we simply just keep repeating the same process. Tomato, mozzarella. All right, usually we get bigger basil leaves than this, but this is all we gotta work with. So we're gonna work with our tiny little basil leaves and pick them off just like this. All right, now take your leaves. We're simply just gonna pile them up in my hand. Pinch them together, you're not gonna hurt them. We're gonna slice them really thin. And that is exactly what we're looking for, a little basil confetti. Now we're gonna go in with some fancy oil. How about pistachio oil? We're gonna give it a little drizzle. So now you need a balsamic glaze. I use this one. I found this up at Jungle Gems up in Cincinnati. This is an expensive one. It was like 30 bucks for this little bottle, but it's balsamic vinegar reduced down and turned into a syrup. And this is an apple flavor. So we're gonna drizzle right over the top, just like so. And we'll go back, cause you can't ever have enough of this stuff. Alrighty. Now it's time to add some serious flavor. We're going with the Dano's Primo. That's the silver top. And it's got a lot of black pepper in there. So it's gonna give it a nice little black pepper flavor. And then we're gonna go in with a little sprinkle of the Dano's original. That's the green top. And now it's time to make it rain with our basil confetti. A little bit there and a little bit there, a little bit there. Now let me show you how to eat it. Look at that. Just poke it one time with your fork. You get a little bit of everything on there. And that <laughs> is the yum yum get you some. All right, y'all, so you can tell I've already had me a few bites. Now, what I wanted to show you, the coolest thing about the video is how easy this is to eat. Look, you can get both pieces on there. You got a little bit of everything. But the reason why there's some already gone and I'm making the video now is because I'm not sure that I would put pistachio oil on this again. I would probably do the olive oil. Other than that, the Primo on there, the Dano's on there, it makes it that 100% yum yum, get you some, except for the pistachio oil. Y'all know I love you and I always keep it honest. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling, my friends. Mmm.